And the issue here is they've set up Brigade Homeland that was first going to be 5,000 troops, then 20,000 uh, by 2011. By 2012, and this has been in the mainstream news, Army Times, you name it, 378,000 troops who are former combat troops from kicking down doors, face scanning people at checkpoints, issuing tracker cards, running drone attacks, running sword attacks, bringing them into America. Now, when we come back, we'll get into this latest thing where, where the Air Force base announces itself they are arresting U.S. citizens outside the base. But wait, it gets worse. And this isn't even in his article. Remember last year, Fox News in upstate New York said, yes, the U.S. Um, Army Reserve has helped arrest 2,000 people for drugs and guns, and it shows them driving families under roadside car scanners with them in them. We'll be right back. Begging you to listen very carefully to me. I have been to urban warfare drills all over the country. I have sent my film crews all over the country. Just last year, I sent Rob Dew and cohorts up to Illinois, and we even got from one of our local radio affiliates full media passes. They trained to put the citizens of Illinois in the sports stadium. They used Boy Scouts and girls as the citizens to be put in the camps. They did gun confiscation drills. Okay? I have footage from Hebron, Maryland where they march up to the camera people who live there and say you're not allowed to videotape, and then they threaten to arrest them, Marines with guns. We later learned, and it's on tape, in Police State 2000. That's been out for 12 years. Came out in 99. We then learned it was Boy Scouts running around, going in their parents' home. This is on record, and the police chief defends it, and coming back and telling the Marines what guns they have. When the, by the way, when I was in California in 1999 covering Urban Warrior, I got back to the hotel there in Oakland at 10 o'clock at night, turned on CNN, and they'd been there that day, and they were saying, the troops are training for Macedonian operations in the Bosnia-Herzegovina crisis. And sure, every bit of training they do is dual use, but that was deceptive. It was all America, America, America. So I knew they were really training for this in America, that it was illegal, violation of federal law, common sense. Everybody knows it's the military in Nazi Germany that takes over. It's the military that takes over in Guatemala. It's the military that takes over in all of these places. It's the military took over in Rome with Julius Caesar. It's always the threat that you get bad government that commands the military against the people. But it's so diametrically opposed to the American system and law that quietly, 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 since the mid-1980s, they have been creating cadres, testing troops, seeing if they'll do it. And here's what's scary. They've now announced it two years ago that, yeah, troops are going to be on the streets for economic collapse or terror attack. And you learn then from the Rand Corporation documents in 99 that I learned about because they were in the Austin American Statesman, that they've written the plan to militarize police, the threat fusion centers that are really spy systems under federal merger, most of them being put in old military bases under military control. I mean, this is so hellish what we're facing. And now they just roll it out. Yeah, there's troops at the Kentucky Derby. We don't have the state police run out when folks, you know, as is tradition, run out on the field. We have army run out with guns and pull them. Every year, it's done on purpose as a beta test. The Super Bowl, it's all about conditioning, conditioning, the TSA. But the military is going to back up the TSA on the streets. As I told you nine years ago, saw Governor Ridge admit the whole plan, fit into the overall strategy they've had. Now they just admit it to you. Now, here's the issue. People, 15 years ago, we'd talk about this. 12 years ago, we'd talk about it. And they'd say, well, why would the Army want to take over? They want to protect America. They want us to make money. You know, America's good. The, don't say my son who's in the Army's bad. I'm not saying your son who's in the Army's bad. They got rid of the laws 15 years ago and then again 12 years ago to where foreign banks could do whatever they wanted and create any amount of counterfeit financial instruments and sell them to states, counties, pension funds. Sell them to the federal government. 
And now that they failed, not only are we out the money from the investments, they say, oh, well, the, the whole financial system will be brought down. If you don't promise to prop up the 1.5 quadrillion globally, 600 plus trill that the Washington Post says is what the U.S. owes. Now, this is like if I go to Las Vegas and run up a $2 million gambling debt and I come knock on your door and say, by the way, Mr. Johnson or, 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 or Mrs. Smith, you owe this for me. If you don't, the economy will collapse. You'd be like, get out of here, you nutcase. Shouldn't have gone and blown the money in Las Vegas. But see, these banks maneuvered us into this by design. They've done this in countless third world countries. They've done this in first world countries. And so they started fever pitch, getting the military ready, federalizing the police ahead of this. And the cops and military that carry this out, they're going to have their pay cut, their pension fund stolen. They're already all over the country telling police, well, if, when things go bankrupt, you're going to have to give up half your pension fund. But it doesn't matter because they're, they're, they're psychologically profiling and testing with these long 600-question psychological profile tests. They're finding kind of Dudley Do-Right, kind of wimp, good guy people. Like, they, they're real dumb. They think they're good guys. They believe whatever the higher-ups tell them like dogs. And the, the, they're kind of hiring these, you know, these wimp, tough guy types to use them against the American people. They don't, by the way, they don't hire high-intelligence, crafty soldiers. They hire low-IQ morons. We'll tell you about it when we come back. For the first five or ten callers or so, only for military and police that are listening. It's still a free country. You're allowed to call in here and talk about things that are illegal and expose them. We are not in a total secret police state yet unless we give in to it. And I have hundreds of news articles where they admit the Army, the Marine Corps, uh, they're running checkpoints all over the country arresting U.S. citizens. And I've played the newscast here over and over again, that Fox News piece uh, out of upstate New York where Oh, the Army arrested 2,000 people, and it shows families being driven under high-powered X-ray machines shooting through the car. Just a few years before, you know, the Border Patrol are in lead-shielded facilities to do this. The people are made to get out of the car, and it's sent over rollers. But see, oh, let the Army grunts die. We test chemicals, biologicals on them. We've stolen their death benefits. We're always cheating them. By the time they figure it out, it'll be too late. And the really dumb ones, we'll just hire them and make them police officers. I mean, that is the policy. And so they just got the military on the Fox News piece. In fact, I'm going to have Paul Watson, because he's the one that wrote it, add that article to Kurt's article so you can see it. I forget the exact headline. In fact, will you just get me Watson online, please? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, because I want, uh, I mean, that won't even add any, any one tenth of the proof here, but, uh, and, and Kurt's got dozens of examples, but I want folks to see this. I mean, they think you're complete idiots. They got the troops out there going, yeah, we catch drugs and guns out here in the middle of nowhere. Shows families driving under the x ray scanners. And there they are just being blasted with the radiation. I mean, you think it's bad for the family to drive under a high powered x ray? It makes a chest x-ray look like mother's milk. Imagine being those troops. And it turns out for seven years or more, I guess eight, they've known at Boston Logan and four other airports that were testing body scanners that it's massively increasing the levels of cancer. And when those agents get sick, they just say, go home and die, pal. Just like uh, they're still blocking health care for the 9-11 uh, responders saying, oh, you're not getting cancer from this. Doesn't matter every major institution that studied it. Uh, and looked at it, says they are dying at, um, you know, the number of cancers in some cases are tenfold. Their lungs are full of asbestos. The CAT scans show it. They just say, in fact, I saw it on Fox News, no link to the first responders in cancer. Remember, New York Post attacking first responders last year when they were very close to getting congressional law passed to finally get health care. And they said, oh, they're just a bunch of ripoff artists, these cops and military and medics. I remember the New York Post, they're just a bunch of money grubbers. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the CAT scans, even on the mainstream news, their lungs, full of it. Remember, they told you the air was safe to breathe. Turned out they knew it wasn't safe, but they got to keep that cover-up going. Yeah, they really care about you. They really care about you over there at News Corp. Absolutely sickening. So remember that police and military, but it doesn't matter. The types of people, and this was only going on in the last 15 years, previous to that, Police departments would try to hire smart, tough guys. They'd go check up on you if you were from the neighborhoods. You get in fights when you were a kid. Were you a tough guy? Um, unofficial manuals even got written on it. 
Did you like to go after bullies? Uh, you know, do you, were you basically like a hunter of corruption? That's what good old fashioned police departments wanted. Now they want below 100 IQs, the lower the better, people who will follow whatever orders you give them. I remember state police 10 years ago in Texas, on average, seemed a lot smarter. Man, I've run into them now, and you talk to them, and I mean, they seem like they'd have trouble tying their shoelaces. And we published internal DPS memorandum yesterday about we are trying to basically only recruit former military right now. But by former military, they mean specifically the types that really haven't seen combat. They've just been through drill camp uh, and learned how to submit and been brainwashed and then not seen any combat and been in resupply who now want to wage war against the American people, uh, you know, you and your wife when they pull you over. So that's the model going on here. And, and so let me explain it. Criminals took over America, the big banks that run the narcotics publicly, run by the government that ships the guns to the drug gangs in the U.S. and outside the U.S. to control the drug trade. They need really dumb cops who can just go write tickets and don't understand this. And they're listening right now, some of them. They're like, what? The government deals with drugs, but then I arrest people for drugs. You arrest low-level users who are then put in uh, private prisons uh, publicly owned by big banks that launder the drug money who then work for 25 cents an hour. So they make money on both ends of it. And I know you don't understand that. You barely know how to put your pants on, put your belt buckle on. I understand that. That's why you were chosen for the job. Now, cops that slip through or older police officers, they know what's going on. By the way, I learned all this from police in the last 15 years. Uh, you know, getting to know Dallas detectives, Austin detectives, LAPD detectives, getting to know these people over the years. I mean, it's a running joke, a running joke. I mean, I have been in the New York subway and gone up and talked to U.S. Army that's there. We even got it on video, but I felt so sorry for these guys. I didn't put it out. And I'm like, hi, what are you doing? I'm protecting you from terrorists. And I went, you are. And I believe the person had an extra chromosome. And I'm not putting people down who have that. It's very sad. But I believe they're actually recruiting mentally retarded people. I, I mean, and I was, I was like, uh, you are in the Army. I am. And then I also have footage I did use from that same trip. We're, we're down by Times Square. There's U.S. Army running around with 45s on their hips. And they see us taping them across the street, and the U.S. Army runs over and begins screaming and cussing that they're going to kick my butt if I don't stop taping. And I said, do it! Do it! You know how what that would do for the Republic if you beat me to death right there? You cowards, I would have just submitted while you just split my skull through and murdered me. That's what will rise the Republic to your evil! Strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And that's why the controllers haven't killed me yet. They know it. You think I want to die? No. I love life so much, I'm willing to die. And some of you haven't figured that out yet. Now, I'm sorry, I just go back to that point. It's in, uh, what, Road to Tyranny, or is it in, is it in Endgame? It's in Endgame. We ought to cue that up later. I know Aaron was up here late last night, but if he's here... Usually gets in by now. Get him to find that clip. People won't believe it. I'm tired of it. And you know what happened when I rose up to like six or seven military people? By, by the way, these weren't dumb people. These were gangbangers. And again, they're hiring people who barely can tie their shoelaces from the cornfields, and they're hiring gangbangers. And these guys were gangbangers. They got the 45 on, rolling. And, and you know what? Obviously racist the way they acted. Whitey's across the street taping them. That isn't going to happen in America. And they came over and they let me, and I said, you know what, go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. So this is the situation that we've gotten in this republic. And the government is going to turn all these people loose on you. You know where the biggest army, navy, marine corps recruiting station is in the world? Pull it up. Mexico City. Oh, yeah. Nationalistic, anti-U.S., Get up here, uh, biggest cohorts now in the entire military, illegal aliens legalize the minute they sign the dotted line. And they will come into your house and they will take your guns and they will ask for seconds in a minute. And they're ready to fight. So, by the way, you think I'm joking? I can play you Frontline where it shows a bunch of gang member types and, and this family's got some firewood in their car. They get out of a field and they shoot the car and they shoot the car up laughing they shoot the car up 
laughing and then running Abrams tank over it back and forth laughing. Okay, that's what's being turned loose on America. And I'm going to get into this new information here in a moment.